So, what'd you bring me up here for? What are we doing today, and where are we? We're, in Bash, we're at Bash Pro Shops. And we're gonna, um, I Buy guess... some of Daddy's crazy hunting gear? Yeah. You heard the little lady right, folks. Dear old Dad, that's me, needed a few items in order to kick off the Show Me State bow hunting season in proper fashion. My wonderful family was kind enough to accompany me to the Independence location of Bass Pro Shops. Now to kick things off, I'd like to share a short story with you. Now, when you were a kid, Benjamin, down in Harrisonville, we were driving by an old Golden Corral. And you said, Daddy, there's one of those hunting trucks. And I was thinking it was going to be some buddy who had their truck all camoed up. And so I kind of looked over and then did a double take and swung it around and said, boy, that's one of the hunter specialties. So we ran in there and it was Alex Rutledge and I, I met him. A very, very nice man, a humble fella. And he, I told him, man, I said, can I get some pictures of you out in front of your vehicle? And he said, well, sure. And I said, man, I really appreciate this. And he said, you know what? I'm the one who appreciates it because if it weren't for guys like you, I wouldn't have a job. And I thought, well, how cool. What a neat attitude to have. Alex left our son Benjamin with a signed photograph that still hangs on his wall today that reads, Benjamin, say no to drugs, yes to hunting. God bless you and your family, Alex Rutledge. Thanks, Alex. You're a wonderful man, my brother. Let me tell you something, folks. It's a real good thing my family and I don't live down the street from this place because I'd definitely be in here more often than I am. Well, let's see here. Let's see if we can go over here and find this camera arm. Looking for a gorilla camera arm. I'm going to try to video a, a bow hunt. Well, here we are with the camera arms. Some of these look like they're pretty high dollar. I looked at this one on the internet too. It looks like a nice one, but I don't really want to lay down a hundred bucks right now. I saw this Pine Ridge one on there too on the internet. I may check it out. The one I came in here for is the one that I think Hunter by Design uses here. And he videos his, his stuff, the uh, Gorilla camera arm. While I'm thinking about it, MNJ Booth, Matthew Booth from Missouri, another one of those Missouri hunting guys like me this is the one he said he uses I just found another one but I don't think I'd get as much use out of this one because you have to put it on a stand and I don't think that I'd have the options that I would with the gorilla so thanks Matthew I think I'm gonna get the gorilla Yeah, quite a few tree stands to choose from there. I'm partial to the summit climbers myself. I think it's a, a lot of bang for the buck. I think there's a couple of summits right there. I've got an open shot. It's about 14 pounds and my broadhead backpacker is right at 20. I like them both. Hey Benjamin, don't you wish that thing was turned on? <laughs> that looks like fun, huh? Well, I got a clothing item I want to grab, so let's run over there. Well, I think we found the stuff here. Yeah, there it is. Endura skins. Performance base layer. It's got like a silver 
in it and uh, activated carb in here. Let's check it out. We're going down. Okay. Downstairs now. I'm going to see if we can find some mosquito repellent here. Ah, oh, here we go. This is one of the things I want to look at right here. There's another deal down here I'm thinking about too. I've heard a buddy of mine over the years talk about this, um, uh, how do you pronounce it? Pear mithrin in this Sawyer product. But they say you put it on your clothing, not on your skin. And apparently the, the deer don't smell it either in spook. So I've got to make some comparisons here. See which one I want to get. Well, as cool as this thing sounds, for 225 square feet, that's like sitting in a big room around your tree stand in your boat. I just really can't in this economy justify these refills right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up with this paramethrin product here, this Sawyer that was recommended by a fellow upstairs. I think I can get a lot more bang for my buck here spraying that stuff on my hunting clothing. So on to the next department. Okay, we've got some things I want to check out over here in the fishing department, so I'm going to run over here. Now I know what you're thinking, folks. This is a hunting show. We didn't hang out too long in the fishing department, just long enough to pick up a few bags of soft plastics, so we'll be ready to hit those feisty fall bass. After having received an awesome bass fishing tip from my friend Don of the YouTube channel Winky Doodles, I just couldn't resist a quick stop. Oh, and by the way, this Jimmy Houston product I'm holding, it really works for getting fish smell off your hands, so I imagine it'll work just as well for those of us who process our own deer. Now is that a monster catfish or what? I'd say this old cat means business. You go, girl. Would you just look at all these bows to choose from? Who are these rascals at the Hunter's Specialties booth? Everybody knows you can't go to Bass Pro Shops without trying your luck at the shooting range. The use of the range was free of charge during our visit, so quite a few folks were cashing in on the opportunity. Well folks, that pretty much puts a wrapper on our visit to Bass Pro Shops in Independence, Missouri. Bow season opens September 15th, so it's just around the corner for all of us who hunt in the show me state. I can hardly wait. Wish me luck as I attempt to take a deer with my bow on camera. Please be safe in the timber and enjoy yourselves with family and friends as you experience the beauty of God's creation.